Sure. Hi everybody, I'm Susan Gerbeck. I am known as the Wikipediatrician, affectionately known as the Wikipediatrician. I am from America, as you can tell from my accent. I'm from California, the closer to the ocean in Monterey County. I run Mon Monterey County Skeptics. And um, I have been involved with the skeptic community since about 2000 and 2000 actually. And I started becoming more in the activist becoming more of an activist about 2010, something like that. Yeah, about 2010. By trade, I'm a photographer, professional photographer, portrait photographer, retail. I specialized in young children. I did that for 34 years. I've taken hundreds of thousands of photographs of people over the years, and I absolutely adore it. But I was retired a few years ago, and um, now I do a lot of activism. I have a degree in social and behavioral sciences, I've never used it for anything. I found that most of the activism and most of the things that I do can be done without having an academic degree, which was a surprise to me, um, because it's more of a management. The skills that I have to use are more management type skills. Uh, uh, herding cats, I'm sure you've heard that phrase. So I run a Wikipedia editing group, and it's an international group of approximately 150 people. We're located on Facebook in a secret group called The Secret Cabal. And what we do is we train and mentor and we motivate each other. We focus on pages concerning science, scientific skepticism, and the paranormal. Now, sometimes my editors work on pages outside of that um, area, but that's, you know, that's all fine but we keep track of all the Wikipedia pages that we have made a massive um, a, a rewrite to or have written. And we are now at 1,230 pages. And we keep track of how many pages, how many page views those 1,230 pages have. And we're at 51 million page views, over 51 million page views. So what we do is we're trying, we train, um, I created training for all of my new people and they have to go through a tra training process, which is about two months of real training. We ask that you finish it within four months. And the training starts out very easy where you have to make a Wikipedia account. You have to uh, take a photo and put it on a page. And we give you the photo to put on the page. And we tell you what page to put it on. Uh, next task is you know watching videos on how to cite something. Then we have you cite things. And eventually the training will take you to a point where you're going to rewrite a Wikipedia page for probably a biography of a scientist whose Wikipedia page is crap, um, like a, a stub. We find that biographies are really good for people to work on because they have a beginning and they have an end. Whereas if I ask somebody to work on a Wikipedia page for, oh, something like demonic possession or uh, I have somebody working on haunted house, that, that's going to take a lot longer for somebody to finish. So we create Wikipedia pages, making sure they have really great citations. We try to make sure the Wikipedia page is readable. Uh, we want people to read from the top to the bottom if we can. We create uh, good, we make sure they have good photographs, uh, all those kinds of things, because we want to make sure that the Wikipedia page is in the best shape we possibly can. So we try to fix a lot of different kinds of uh, Wikipedia pages. There's a lot of motivations for the different pages that we work on. In, in some cases we want to create new pages for people or topics because we feel that they're missing in um, on Wikipedia and that people want to know. Sometimes, there, sometimes there's new organizations that start up and we want to make sure that we have a page for it so people can get information about it. Sometimes we are working on Wikipedia pages of biographies because we feel that people we're not preserving the history of science because the Wikipedia pages are in such bad shape. So it's pretty disrespectful to people who are the superstars of our community who have created um, uh, vaccines or um, made uh, amazing discoveries in science that we should re respect these people. Um, other times we're creating pages for people who are up and coming new um, spokespeople for the skeptic community and scientists. If they have really wonderful Wikipedia pages, then they are more likely to be uh, sought out by the media. Uh, when the media is also looking for information on a topic, they will, they will turn to a Wikipedia page um, because that's one of the first views they get, the first uh, URLs they get. 
We also will work on pages that have just nonsense on them, pseudoscience, like cupping therapy, which was a huge deal back in the, the Olympics in 2016 when the, um, the swimmers came out with all these big giant circle hickey things on them. Uh, we found that the Wikipedia page, basically the, just the lead, the very top part of it, said more or less that cupping therapy is very old, it is um, Chinese and it probably works. And once the, um, it was receiving about a thousand page views a, a day, the cupping therapy Wikipedia page. When the Olympics happened and, and Mark Phelps came out with these giant suckery marks all over him, uh, the Wikipedia page started receiving 106,000 page views in one day. And it, because it had nonsense on it, um, it wasn't well written, it was just missing a lot of things. We found that what happened is that people were getting bad information and possibly harmful information because they were, they were getting information that said that it worked. Um, what the media was doing was calling in cupping practitioners and having them come into the media, you know, into the, the TV places and they were laying them down, the, the reporters and they're getting cupping and it was just, it was, it was bad because it, it, it doesn't work. So we, we changed the Wikipedia page to say, um, the lead, the first couple sentences say that it is um, old, it is Chinese, and it doesn't work and it'll it may harm you, it's pseudoscience. And so now we know that people are able to get good information and we're not just telling them what, we're telling them that, you know, an overview of what it is and then they can go to the citations at the bottom of the article that are left there for them and then they can follow those citations if they want more information and they can, they can get their own informa information, make up their own mind and be able to um, see the citations for themselves. So we're, it's kind of like a catch-all. It's like a one place stop to find information about a subject you're interested in. So we don't get a lot of pushback and that's a, a question that we get a lot is how much do we battle with the, with the people on Wikipedia who are coming in and trying to change the information? We receive very little pushback. Um, the little bit we do is usually from other Wikipedia editors who are mostly skeptical people um, trying to make sure it's good information because the rules of Wikipedia are a little bit interpretable and um, like in America we have the Constitution so you have to kind of interpret it and somebody might see it one way and another person might see it another way. So what we're trying to do is um, when somebody does remove bad information off a Wikipedia page uh, or receive Re, uh, remove criticism off a Wikipedia page, it's usually reverted and it's made right again very quickly. But we spend very little time having to um, fight against um, the, the paranormal world who might want to change the Wikipedia page in favor of the paranormal, because Wikipedia's rules are not made that way. Well, we have, all of our editors have their favorite topics and their favorite Wikipedia pages we've written because once you write a Wikipedia page, especially something in a lot of detail, you kind of fall in love with it. So I've had many pages that I've written. I think I've written about 50 pages, 52 pages, but I now don't have time to write Wikipedia pages. I do a lot of feedback and training with a team of 150 people. You can understand I really don't have time. But in the past, some of my favorite Wikipedia pages are Spontaneous Human Combustion. We've rewritten that Wikipedia page because that was something that frightened me as a child. We find that it's really important because back when I was young, we had no way of, we had no way of checking some kind of pseudoscience like that. I mean, where would you, you couldn't go to the Encyclopedia Britannica to know about Spontaneous Human Combustion. And so um, that was a really important page for us to have. And it receives over a million page views a year uh, we've written a lot of pages and they're all important to me in their own way. Sometimes they receive, you know, 20 views a day, something really small, but they're all endearing to my heart because they're all, almost all of them are biographies of people that we really want people to remember their history and to, um, to remember their past and where we've been. Because we don't, we didn't get where we are with science without standing in the shoulders of those people who came before us. And, um, you know, not everybody's a unique individual where they just all of a sudden spontaneously appear on the scene as this amazing person. They, they had their teachers and they had their um, reasons that they were able to um, become the person they are. And so we really want to respect that.
So one of the people that we have that are, that we really, I use this as an example a lot, is a virologist named Stanley Plotkin. And Stanley Plotkin had a Wikipedia page that was maybe like two citations long. It was really embarrassing. Um, this is a man who created the, um, the, the vaccine for rabies. Uh, he also uh, created the vaccine for rubella, which is German measles. He saved countless lives with the work he's done uh, with robovirus. Um, that's another uh, uh, vaccine that he has been working on. He's retired now. And uh, when we finished his Wikipedia page, we wrote to Stanley Plotkin and I said, hey, we've rewritten your Wikipedia page. And he, he looked at it and he said, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I can't believe that anybody cared enough to rewrite my Wikipedia page. And as I approach the end of my life, um, able to be able to go back and look at this, it's such a big deal. And I'm so pleased that you did it. And that makes me so happy. And uh, I almost want to tear up when I read it because he's such an amazing man that almost nobody's heard of. But because he's behind the scenes, you know, we don't know of that person. But Stanley Plotkin, check him out.